Hello everyone, just from Metal Chaos Studio here. In this video I'm gonna show you how I paint windows on Tabletop Worlds model. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. This will greatly encourage me to make other videos. You can also follow me on Facebook or Instagram. I'll put the links in the description below. I'm currently painting the amazing couching in and as you can see, I already painted most of the building. In this example, I'm gonna paint the glass as if the light from the fireplace is beaming through the window. Since I primed the model in black, I'm first going to paint the glass section with a pale beige color. I'm using Ripper MSP tan leather. This base coat will help give a lighter tone to the other colors. When the base coat is dry, I apply a layer of orange paint. Here I'm using Ripper MSP Fireball Orange. Note that at this point it doesn't matter if I touch the metal bars, since I'm gonna paint them black later. You will probably need to turn the model upside down to reach each corners. You may also have to paint the surfaces twice to get an evenly opaque color. Next, I mix pale yellow with orange to create a lighter tone of orange. Here I'm using Ripper MSP Candle Light Yellow mixed with Fireball Orange. This time, without even waiting for the paint to dry, I apply a tad of candlelight yellow in the middle of each glass square. Again, you will need to turn the model sideways or upside down to reach every corner. You can even go farther by mixing creamy ivory to candlelight yellow and create a lighter tone of yellow. I apply this lighter color only at the center of the windows. Once the paint is completely dry, I dip my brush in water to dilute Citadel Cassandora yellow shade and apply a very thin layer on all the glasses. Make sure not to add too much to cover the, the color. This will help blend all the colors together. At this point you can also apply shade on the wood around the window. And on the shingles. Finally, you can make a dot of creamy ivory or pure white in each lozenge of the window. This will create an interesting glass effect. 
you can place those dots in the general direction of the light source inside the building. In my case, since the chimney is on the left of the window, I place those dots at the bottom left of each lozenge. Next, I paint the metal with a black base coat. You will need to turn the model upside down to reach all the corners. I always wear uh, nitrile gloves to, to hold the model, not to put stain of grease or sweat on the surface that are already painted. You may want to leave the window like this, but in my example I'm gonna add rust on the metal. So I first apply muddy brown on the metal bars. And then pale orange to create a rust effect. I used the side of the brush. And finally I apply liquid pigment rust effect from Green Stuff World. I do a final pale yellow highlight to enhance the OSL. And we are done. If you like this video, please give it a, a like and consider subscribing. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'll put the link in the description below. In the next video, I'll show you how I paint stained glass windows like those. Keep on painting and take care.